got a situation here where this horse is trained and he's doing well. It's on his last couple of weeks. So it's come in the yard and what I've done is turned to come out the yard again. So this pony said, right, what we normally do, we come in and that chain over there covered with the green plastic uh, piping is where the horse would normally. So I've changed it. I've come in, I've turned around, ready to go out. And this horse is saying to me, I am not going over there. I am now going in the stable. So you see it go up on its hind leg. So what I've got to do is get it to come back. Come back, come back. So all that fight and just jumping up in the air, this is only a very quick video. Um, so I come into the yard, normally would come straight to that point. You wouldn't have to have do anything. I mean, obviously you would have someone just clip the horse on because they're in training and, you know, etc. But you could get off your cart, walk around, clip it on, and it would be fine. But because we've changed the rules or changed the routine, if you like, or no. So he decided, no, I'm going in there. So it stood on its side and legs up there and boxed the air. I don't think we got that on film, but we got the other rear on film for you just to see. So now I'm going to make this all stand here. And yeah, I will say, make this all stand here. What I normally say is asked. I like the white stand. So I'm going to make him stand until he stops moving his head about and I'll be in with me. All of that is just... He's got to do something. He's not a child. You know, you get a child going, um, you, you can't, you've got to do that, you can't do that. That's not right. And they'll have to do something. You know, it doesn't really matter what you do. So... So you can't do your own work, put your pencils there like that, you've got to do that, you've got to do your own work, put all your pencils there and then move one to the other side, just so they've had, but it's exactly the same. So, he's just, so now when he stands quiet, if he was standing there normally and he was on that chain, he wouldn't be doing this with his head. Yeah. And all this is frustration because he's been asked to do something different and he's got to stand there so but what will happen in a minute is he will stand quiet and he'll go on to three legs right so what i mean is he'll rest the back foot and uh now if i have to stay here for a long time i will do so i'm not pulling on the reins i'm definitely giving him you know a certain amount of rain so he can move his head around I just want him to stand there like that. Stop moving it around. You see the leg going up at rest now. to him he knows what I want he doesn't need any instruction he just doesn't want to do it so he's going to keep moving his head right so I don't keep talking to him there's a good boy stands all that nonsense right he knows what I want he's been here a while he knows the rules he knows the boundaries um, that we've set for him and if you say I don't want to set boundaries for any horse I'd like more to run free and when people say to me oh, well you know, he wants to be out in the field. Look, no, he don't. He don't want a fence around him. Um, and he's pooing in the same field as he's eating out of. And then people say to me, oh, I'll pick mine up every day. It's picked up. Well, in 23 hours of the day, there's crap on the ground, isn't there? It's got to be, you know, there's got to be poo on the ground. So I should just stand here now with him. If you notice my arm, I'm holding the reins so he can pull the weight of my arm if he really wants to. But I'll keep the reins on the back of the end of my knee there. And when he stands quiet and stops moving his head, then I'll look him on. See this towel as well? Now we've got no flies about this time of year. 
but this is all a little argument, back chat, if it was a youngster, you know, a young person, being lippy, you know, cheeky, if you like, talking back, so, and this is a bigger, just a big, it was a bigger part of training, and sticking them in the shuttles, that's relatively easy, um, but this is training. Now, under normal circumstances, I'll show you lots of film, under normal circumstances, you bring him in time there and he would stand so, like a statue. I could prove it to you now by just going up the yard, turning around and coming back, but then he would believe he'd, he'd sort of got his own way. Well, that wouldn't be any good. We just wait now. And if it was, if it was, you know, fly time, there was a lot of flies around, midges around his ears, you could understand. But we just stand there like that. I mean, if he started chewing the fence, then I would tell him off. You know, he couldn't do that. But I think now I can say, yep, yeah, that's good enough. You're standing quiet, just let that do it again, so just wait again. You know, in my mind now, I'm counting, if you like, um, and when he can give me 15, 20 seconds, which is quite a long time, you know, in this sort of situation. But you see there now, that really is stopping the movement of the edge, you know. And, I just, and he, what he is doing, he's picking his up, if you look at his forelock, will blow back over his ears. And quite a few horses don't like that, because it just feels like a fly, doesn't it? Like now, for instance, can you see it flying over? Yeah? Whoa! Stand still. Come back. Come back. Come back, stand. So you've got to have the patience of a saint. The other thing that's not helping the situation is I'm talking. Normal circumstances, I'll just sit here and not say a word. Other than, you know, don't let him move his feet around, because obviously that's highly dangerous. If you ask horse to stand still, that's what you desperately want. You know, I was doing a commercial job. There's many, you know, I used to do a lot of weddings and funerals. I was doing a, a wedding and there's a child, maybe three-year-old, two and a half, three-year-old, I would guess. And when I look, mum and mum's over there talking to a friend and like that, and the child is cuddling the front leg of horse. Well, one of my stallions has happened. He never moved, but even if he'd have moved just to free his leg up, he could have really hurt somebody. But because I'd sit him stand, that was good enough. So if you look now, he's got a leg at rest. Yeah. And the arguments left him, so we're looking on now. You know, I mean that little bit of head movement I'm not that bothered about. It's when he's shaking his head and being cross, you know, and like that. So he's just moved his towel again. He's not actually highly delighted with the situation, but he's accepting it. And that's what I want him to do. That's it, we've got the chain on now. It's just stopped at the right time because you start to pour a rain. <laughs>